Hi there, welcome to SitePad. I am your SitePad buddy, and in this video, I am going to be showing you how to set up an e-commerce store in SitePad. Let's start by navigating to setting then click on features. We will enable the cart e-commerce by selecting and save the changes. After this, we will reload the site to load the changes. Now we will be setting up the store step by step. Now navigate to setting then cart setting. Now we will fill the store address and all other required fields. Here we have set up our store address. Now we will be setting up our selling preferences. You can set it as per your requirement. In this demo, we will sell to all locations you can choose from other options also. Same we will be doing to shipping location as the ship to all locations. We will enable taxes so that taxes get calculated during checkout. Enable coupons if you will be providing user to use coupons. Don't forget to set the currency of the store product. Click on save changes. Now moving to the product tab we will be setting up the measurement dimension of the product to be. We are selecting the weight unit as kg and dimension unit as cm. If you want users to submit reviews and product ratings enable the option as per your requirement. You can also set the inventory for stock management. If you will be selling downloadable products then set this setting. File download method we will set it as force download. So that the user gets his product as soon as payment is done. Save the changes. Now we will set up tax calculation. For this demo we will be selling the product with tax exclusive. If you will be selling the inclusive of tax then select the next option and set up the below fields. If you want to categorize the tax as per user location you can set it up in standard rates, reduced rates, or zero rates. Now moving to the next tab and set up the shipping setting. If you want to set up zone name then click on zones let's name it as international. We will set up the shipping option. Enable the shipping calculator on the cart page. If you want to hide the shipping cost till the user enters or selects the address then enable this. You can set up the shipping classes as per the type of product. Now moving to the next setting payment methods. Now we will enable the cash on delivery and PayPal and set them up. Setting up the PayPal. Enter the PayPal details. Enable the PayPal standard. Don't forget save your changes. Now moving to the next setting account and privacy and set up the checkout for guest users and account creation. Moving to next setting emails. 
You can set up the email to be received when the user placed the order till the order is received by the user. This demo email get to the receiver. The next setting advanced is for those who want to change the default page or REST API or webhooks. Click on the product, then add a new product. Now set up the product by entering the details as per fields. Post title enter the product name, as you wish. We will change the permalink. Categories We will add new categories. Enter the category name and click on add new category. Give some tags for the product. We will be adding tags name and press the comma button to enter new tags now these are tags. Moving next to the featured image or the main image for the product, we will choose this image as a featured image for the product. Excerpt enter a few highlight text a few lines for this product to show. Allow comment enable it if you want to allow users to comment on this product. Photo gallery add few more photos of the same product from a different angle to show how the product looks. Now next is product pricing enable this option if your product is downloadable and not a physical product. Enter the regular price here, if you want to show this product as discounted enter here the sale amount. If you want to schedule the sale enable this option and set the day on which the sale will start from. Here you can manage the inventory of this product. Enter the SKU here and barcode details here. Enable this to track the stock quantity of this product and enter her the current stock quantity and set the low stock threshold to notify if the stock is getting low. Now product shipping set dimension from here. Let's keep it virtual. In variance tab enable the variance. If you want to link similar products with upselling and cross sell then enter it here. If you want to enter some notes for the buyer type them here and enable the review to allow the user to share the review of the products. Now click on publish or update to save this product details close this editor.
We will navigate to products, all products. Here we can see our newly added products. Now we will see how our shop is functioning click on the view site then visit the shop page. We will buy this newly added product for demo. Click on add to cart select the quantity. Or click on buy now to directly buy this product. Add the billing address and enter the details save the address. Click on use this to make it default. Check this if your shipping address is the same as the billing address. Click on proceed. Here is your purchase detail. Click proceed if it's correct. Select the payment method. We will choose the cash on delivery click on proceed to confirm the purchase. After your order is completed you will be shown the order details. Users can manage Theor account, order, address from my account page. To manage the order you need to navigate to order, then all orders. Click on this order. You can manage the coupons from the coupon setting. Reports from here. Now our store setting has been set up. Import the cart templates if you reset the theme you get your cart templates product pages and shop pages etc. Go to cart setting. Advanced tab. And go to import template. Click on import template. If you are stuck with issues then visit the documentation link in the description or open support ticket on deskus.com. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or go to sitepad.com docs.